Some people prefer to be cremated instead of buried, but Granddad wanted to be buried. You are dying. So am I. Every second I create more of my past, more decisions, more breathing, more love and more loathing. All of it slides by into the gone as I grab at more moments, at memories just made and already fading. We are all authors, creators of our pasts, authors of the books that will be our lives. When we race across the wet concrete of time without purpose, without laughter and love and sacrifice, then we fail in our mortal moments. See the past, see your life as the fruit of providence and thousands of personal narratives. What led to you? Lighthearted tales of neighborhood love, great tales of migrations, epic tales of global wars and comedies, dark stories about brothers and murder, tales of rape and grief and persecution. You did not choose where to set your feet in time. You choose where to set them next. Pause, breathe, eyes front, see the future. Do not stare into the fog of distant years. See the crystal choices as they race towards you in this sharp foreground we call now. The future flies at you in a never-ending storm of possibilities. God says create. God says live. Choose. Shape the past. Etch your lives in stone and what you make will be forever. You are dying. So am I. We march from page to page and it is our living that takes us toward the end. Children will follow. Reading our stories. Built on our stories. Set in a place and in a time that we helped choose for them. They will be the ones to shut the book behind us. They will dig holes and arrange flowers. They will fill out forms. Cause of death, life, may it be the truth. What's the point of the whole Bible? Yeah!